Cupies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tia, aka Teacup Simmer, and this is another part of our niche series. And we are back in our Zephyrin tribe with the last, and we are on the last day of our reigning queen, Miss Isria. And she is going to have her final baby, and then she's going to pass away, you guys. We just got a final few pictures of the happy family. Oh my goodness. And this is actually like a really great family portrait. Just because if I could brill it back. There it is. Right there. Let's get rid of that. But look, it's like everyone is so close. Everyone is part of the picture. There's little there's Uncle Dante sitting in the background looking all creepy, being the protector of the family, and then there's Sirla all in the back trying to get away, trying to be her own person and not have to deal with the craziness that is her sister's family and then there's young Ichido all the way over here who decided to kind of bow out of the family drama and just go and basically provide for the tribe by picking up food with his cousin well no like not his cousins but his nieces and nephews i should say because he's his sister well no not his nephews his cousins yeah his cousins i'm trying to think i can't because he looks like i said he looks so much like leveret and leveret and rain our brother and sister and so each you know these would be your cousins the cousins from the other side of the family who um your aunt decided to take up with a rogue male and kind of set up a little bit of a family on this side of the family territory and basically take care of picking up a lot of the food while the reigning family kind of spends a lot of their time breeding looking for good genetics trying to see if they are favored by the goddess so Ichido is kind of hanging out with his hanging out with his relatives and his uncle who he really really grew up around and really loved but Kuro is on his last day as well so it looks like a lot of our creatures that we came to the island with are going away you guys I'm so sad but we're gonna slowly try and get some of these new creatures and definitely um, Miss Komiana here, the reigning purple princess, the one that everyone assumes is going to be the next queen, um, is definitely big on exploring. And so she does not like the idea that she has to rule, that she is the one forced to rule. So she, but she kind of is kind of branching out, trying to explore the family territory before she is forced to become the next ruler. So we're going to skip the day, you guys, and I'm just going to say a silent goodbye to Isria. Isria, you were you 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 brought us so many good plots, my dear. You just you just did so many good things for us. Okay, so we're gonna skip the day. Leverett, Leverett, your mate's gonna go away. I'm so sorry, my rabbit. All right, let's go. <gasps> no! <gasps> oh my gosh! Isria! Isria! You left us and you left us with a ram-horned baby! Duke Von Rowe. Oh my gosh! With cracker jaw and good immunity. Let me see. He has good immunity. He has good eyesight. Does he have? He has webbed hind legs, but we can get over that. We can we can not be upset about that because he has runner's leg. He has cracker jaw. Oh my gosh! And he has big body. And he has ram horns. The goddess smiles down upon the family because now we have another baby, another boy, mind you. We did not have a lot of boys. Um, we had a lot of girls. I think now that they, I, I think now they even out. Yeah, three girls and three boys yeah she evened it out that was well very well done isria i applaud i applaud you girly so do what are we going to name him like i don't like duke von Ro, and he was isria's last son so maybe let me see do we have anything in our did anybody give me anything you guys send me you guys send me um different different names to choose from so let me see if there are any names that you guys left me that would work um seal um i i don't know how to say that seal it sounds like seal c-i-e-l i don't know if i like that one for him though i want to save it um 
Let's do this one. Let me see. Are there any other ones? I have a large list of names. Um. I like. I kind of like Dusk. I kind of like it because it fits his co the color of his horns and everything. So Dusk. Well, no, yeah, let's do. No, let's do. Nero, Nero, just as a slight, a slight hint towards his mother, Isria, with the eye. Okay, I like that. So, Nero is our latest baby, and with the death of Isria, we're changing Leverett's color back to green because he's no longer the breeding male. Oh my goodness. But now, guys, we have to focus very much on, ooh, bunny. Get the bunny. Get the bunny. There we go. And can you pick these berries? There it is. Pick some of those berries. But look at the twins. They look, they're identical twins. There's Sela and Sissy. So Sela and Sissy. Oh my gosh, I actually kind of want to leave those. And then there's Sisira. So Sisira, Sira, and Sissy. Um, let's do Sila. Let's do Leela. So let's do Leela and Reese. Based, yeah, Reese from her parents because she's taking on that R. So Leela and Reese, <laughs> like chocolate, Reese's chocolate. Oh, but they're so cute. So the twins are adorable. They both have claw, and they're going to just basically help us with food. We're gonna get Cicera to help us pick up some berries. Go over here and Ichido is gonna set up next to these two berry bushes. Rain, I think, is gonna come over here. I don't know if she wants to mate again. Can she? I can't tell. Maybe it's just she can't mate because of the grass. I don't know why that's not working. But let's see. Let's have. Nutanu, her other son. She had a lot of babies, you guys. <laughs> I think the twins kind of added to the amount of kids that she had. And then Viper, I think would definitely want to stick by the family nesting site with the two permanests. Oh my gosh, we got so lucky with that. And then Kier Kier would come hang out with his sister. And then Rame would think herself very helpful by getting rid of that unnecessariness that is not fit for any more royal babies. So let's see, let's go over here. And because Komiana is of age, she has now taken on the mantle of queen. Oh my gosh, she's now queen. Komiana, what are you going to do? She's now our purple-eyed queen. She's not a purple-eyed princess anymore, you guys. Hello, purple-eyed queen. She's super pretty though. I love her. Um, but I don't know if she's gonna like being queen. She's she's always been kind of a, a free spirit, not really liking that her mother likes to tell her what to do all the time. But now that her mother is gone, she may kind of take the tribe in a new direction. She may want to focus more on exploring and kind of getting us out of these this small area of bounty and moving the tribe into the areas that it looks like her aunt Cyrilaw has been starting to explore. So let's see, can she jump this? No, she can swim it. So let's move this way, clear this out. And she's on top of her, she's on top of her of her sister's bones. Oh, that's so sad. Okay, 
Dante, protect the protect the tribe. Let's see if we can smell anything. We have so many creatures now, we should be able to smell a lot of stuff. So we don't smell anything dangerous. Let's see if we can hear anything. <gasps> no! Sierra! We didn't know! There is a carnivore right there! Oh my gosh! Can we? No, we can't click on him. She has. Does she have enough strength? She has three strength. Maybe she'll be able to take him out and not need anybody else's help. She may become our warrior. Our our warrior creature, you guys. Sierra! Oh my goodness! I'm so scared. Dante, would you be able to go help her? I don't know. We might be able to get him over there in time, but I'm not positive. He doesn't have. He has okay movement, so he might be able to. And then Leverett would be over here clearing away some stuff from the family nesting site, picking up some berries, just being oblivious and taking care of his children now that his mate is gone. And let's move this way. Okay, maybe she wouldn't, she wasn't able to because she wasn't on the same tile. Yeah, they were a tile apart, that's why. I'm silly. Okay, so we're gonna skip the day and see what happens with Sirla and the carnivore that we can like really hear like right next to her. Maybe she's like camouflaged? She's not camouflaged and she has good defense so I'm not sure. No! Don't hurt her! Are you okay sweetie? No! Oh my goodness. So the carnivore has four days left. See if we can do, can we, how much damage can she do? Let's destroy him. Yes! She's fine! Yay! Sierra! You're all, you're, you're ta you've taken one damage. Your, your life is gone by one day, but you were able to protect the tribe. Oh. She will go down in history as the warrior Sierra. I think Dante would have heard the commotion and been like, what's going on? What's going, what's happening? I don't understand. It's like, you, you beat the creature? Okay, I guess. And then little Nero, oh, you're so cute. I'm just gonna have him sit over here next to his daddy. Um, let's see. Viper and her little brother are just going to hang out over here a little bit. Pick up some berries. She's gonna teach him what it's like to live in the tribe and not be the one that's going to be in charge. And then I think Komiana would have heard about the commotion in regards to the carnivore and went over this way to kind of inspect and see what her aunt found. And little Rame, oh, little Rame, she's adorable. I think she'd just try and be helpful. And Reese. He's going to just pick up some berries. Newt, Newtanu is definitely going to just sit here. Let me see. Can we get? Is there anyone we can move over here? No. Let's see if we can. Can we move this way? Nope. He went away. Dang it. Okay. Let's see, there's Cicera. And do they have good immunity together? Let's see. G and A. No, we didn't want to do that. G and F, oh my gosh. All right, well, that was unfortunate. So let's see. I didn't want to do that. Okay, let's just have her move into that nest. And hopefully we won't have a sick baby. I was just checking the genes because gosh darn it, that's so annoying. But now we might have another baby in the nursery. Um, Cicera is going to have a baby on her first day as an adult, mind you. Ugh, that's, that's very disappointing. Let's see. Since Rain won't be having any babies anytime soon because her daughter took over the nurse, the current nest. She's just gonna help with picking up some food. Let's clear away the grass. I think she'd be very annoyed. Like, why am I have to be stuck here? It's not my fault. Oh my gosh, Sierla, you're sitting on top of a bunny.
Oh, cute baby with a derp snout and black eyes. So that's Missy Me. Missy Me. Hind legs. She has regular hind legs. Oh my goodness. Ooh, and she has immunity F and immunity A. So she's healthy. She has derp snout and poison fang. And she has big body. She has fishing tail, which isn't too bad. So she's healthy. That's good. We don't have to worry too much about her. Let's see. Can she... Let's jump on this. Hunt. Or get her as far away from Kuk from Ichido as possible. Ichido, how could you? Okay, so we're just going to pick up some berries. We want to make sure we have enough food. And then the twins are just going to hang out and pick up some more food as well. Newt Von Nutanu. I'm going to have to get used to that. Nutanu. And C C C no. That's not CC. Yeah, CC. Wait, I thought we changed it. That's Reese and wait, where is Leela? Cecira. Maybe I just read it wrong. It's supposed to be Leela. So it's Leela, Reese and Leela. Okay, that's see, I thought I was going crazy. And then let's go here. Oh, dang it. I wasn't trying to do that. Let's go this way. So she can pick up that nut. Can he crack anything? Yeah, he can crack some stuff. And let's send him off to get some clams. And then little Rame is just going to pick up some food. Viper. Viper, you're all big and strong and pretty. Yep, those things are good for you, sweetie. So she's gonna help out, but I think she's gonna try and prove her worth by going exploring this way. And Kiki, <laughs> Kiki is just gonna sit by and kind of be like, yeah, you go ahead and do that. I don't want any part of that. And Nero, who was left all alone, after his mother was gone, would probably stick really close by Leverett, knowing that <laughs> he's the only connection that he that Nero has to his mother. And so let's see. Oh, there's just a, here's a crossing path. Dante, clear this way. He's on his last day. Oh my goodness. Komiana, let's see if we can get you to clear this out. And illuminate this. Let's see if we can hear anything. There's some bunnies. No, that's a mole. But well, we illuminated a new path, you guys. Let's smell anything. And there's some berry bushes and a ton of roots around here. So the tribe wouldn't go hungry if we decided to like evacuate and move everyone this way. So let's have Sierra. Let's see if you can clear this out so that we can make an almost a little bit of a path for everyone when they decide to move this way. This is very slow going, you guys, and I totally get it, but right now it looks like our biggest goal right now is to, we have so many creatures, we have 16 creatures, we're not really going to have any more babies right now, just be, while I try and figure out who goes well with who when it comes to genetic wise, and to see if we can pick up any new immunity genes, because right now we're kind of rolling in dough with the same ones, because she has B and A, and there isn't anyone with differing immunity. Nope, Kira Kira has the same one. He is G and A. Yeah, all of the... Yep, all of the boys have all the same immunity. So we definitely need to see if we can find some other creatures roaming around so that... Um, 
Komiana can have some, can have a mate to start a family with. And she's not in a hurry in any way. She has 17 more days of life, but she might end up turning into um, her mother when it comes to basically having babies a lot later in her reign as queen. So let's skip the day and try and get some <gasps> Dante! Dante, come back. Oh, this is depressing. But we're gonna see if we can get her get her moving this way exploring into the wilderness trying to find some pathway to a new area that the clan can or at least the tribe can grow and look little Rame got bigger she's gonna take out this mole she's always been very helpful I think she's always just tries to help where she's needed and then Leela wants to sit next to Nutanu and basically learn the ropes of berry picking say this is our berry bushes and we must take care of them <clears throat> little Misibe is finally old enough to leave the nest and thankfully she has actual hind legs and not webbed hind legs which is annoying and then we're gonna just pick up some more food we, we are trying to make sure that we are rolling in dough right now you guys and then Reese is picking up all that food and so is Rulian I think he's just gonna scan the coast for a while Ichido Ichido let's look at getting these berries picked Oh, look, a bunny just rolled into your, just rolled right at you, Newt, Newt Vaughn. Just rolled right at you. There it is. And Viper, I think definitely because she would not want to be outdone by her, by her sister, would want to come this way and try and find a way across here and say, well, we can go this way and I'll find a better place for us to live. I think there's a very... I think she views the the survival of the tribe as a competition almost, which I, can be a good and a bad thing. Competition always makes people better, but if you make certain make certain things that shouldn't be games into a game, it can kind of be a little bit detrimental to the people involved. And Nero is just going to hang out with his dad. Let's have him move around here a little bit. Excuse me guys it is very late so i think this is where we're gonna pause this part you guys just because we're slowly moving slowly clearing a path for our creatures to follow this way we might expand an area out here if we can smell any berry bushes if we find any areas that might have some extra food we'll definitely stop there and rest for a bit but it looks like what we found is that all of our Crete our new reigning queen um, Queen Komiana is not content to stay in the land of her mother and the land of her forebears she wants to be do and do bigger and better things and find an area that it would support all of the new creatures that they're trying to have and all of the um, exploration that she wants to do so I think this is what we're gonna leave it you guys if you guys enjoyed this part please let me know down in the comments if you have any names that I should add in for um, our creatures or any babies that we might end up having in the future let me know down in the comments as well if you guys enjoyed this part please leave a like and please subscribe if you really love me and I will see you guys next time bye